The ancient Chinese used to use nap and fork to eat. A full sight of a nap and fork cutlery was unearthed at the Zongri site in the Qinghai province. And the cutlery made by bone was unearthed at the Longshan culture Qijia site in ancient times. The precising of the meat was simple, with only boiling, roasting, and steaming, and not much prep of the ingredients. But why did chopstick eventually replace knife and forks in China? It is a result of the development of Chinese food culture. It is because, during the Shang and Zhou dynasty, China's culinary technology entered a period of culinary civilization. People cut the ingredients into small pieces before cooking, so there was no need to cut them with knives and forks. So people could use chopsticks to eat directly into the mouth. In the 14th dynasty, chopsticks replaced knives and forks as the mainstay of the Chinese tableware. And the food were prepared in a variety of ways. It's easy to take food with long shred and slice by chopsticks. Besides, as the dining table grew larger and larger, chopsticks were able to reach longer distance, making them the perfect match for a large table. Everyone knows that Chinese food is delicious, but what was Chinese people eating 3,000 years ago? This is the state banquet display of Zhou Dynasty 3,000 years ago. Millet, dried meat, acidic drink, meat soup, wine, seasoning, meat with bone, meat chop, sashimi, roast meat. It was a standard state banquet of the Zhou dynasty. Only the nobles could eat it, while the original people could only eat vegetables. Although most original people can now afford to eat this kind of state banquet, nobody would cook like this because for most modern Chinese, it's too unpalatable. The seasoning are not added during the cooking, but need to be dipped later. And the staple food is too small, with no wheat and rice. Before the Sui Dynasty, the Chinese could only cook with brown. After nearly 2,000 long years of development, the time came to the Song Dynasty. Thanks to the unprecedented upgrade of the iron smelting technology during the Northern Song Dynasty, works which only nobles and the rich men could afford to use, were introduced into the homes of original people after the Tang Dynasty. Of course, this inevitably relied on an unprecedentedly superpower economic strength. There are many types of dishes in the Song Dynasties. It can be divided roughly into meat dishes, aquatic dishes, vegetable dishes, soup dishes, pickled meat dishes, total of five categories. The main documents are recorded in the Dongjing Menghua Lu, Mengliang Lu, Su Shi or Songji, Ping Zhou Ge Tan, Shen Jia Qing Gong, Gong Xi Ju Shi Hou Ji. Too many documents here to cite. For example, one of the most common ingredients, chicken. According to Mengliang Lu and other documents, there were more than 30 different cooking methods for chicken from which it was inferred that the food and the culture of the Song dynasty reached a completely new level. By this time, the individual serving had been completely abandoned. For example, 15 dishes for 10 people. A gathering of the table set out 15 plates. And everyone could take what they want. You can ensure that everyone is the same quality of food. If you also do the individual serving, it's difficult to do it. If you still want to do it like before, it will have to use at least 10 times the number of dishes to enjoy the same food. Just imagine the scene that 
10 people you were surrounded by the 150 plates, the table would need to be much larger. Besides, staple food and dishes are separated because of the food culture. And for the rule of cooking, color, aroma, and the taste of food are both excellent. Some dishes demand that cooked by the whole chicken and whole fish. Also, some dishes have the illusions and history, which is improper for dividing into small pieces. If the forced to split of dish, it's impossible to do it under the current circumstances. And the family style serving is more able to take care of everyone's tastes, such as if you don't like the dish, and you will not go to take it. Like a dish, you can eat more. The best example is this famous pseudo dish, squirrel shaped mandarin fish. Such a beautiful dish is nice to depreciate. For it, the best choices for everyone is to eat together. If it is divided into portions for everyone before it is served. The waitress tell me it's called squirrel shaped mandarin fish but I can't see how it looks like a squirrel. It's just a few pieces of meat. It's only one example. And there are so many more like that. But this is just one of many in Chinese food culture. The increase in the number of dishes required large table setting, changes in etiquette, and the decentralization of the central authority. And with the rise in table height and came the birth of the chairs that could hand down the leg. Chopstick was invented for the delicate handling of dishes and for taking food from a distance. The separation of food and the stable food and the sensible sight and the smell were important factors in the food culture, making a split a dish unacceptable. It was these advanced progressive factors that contributed to the Chinese way of eating the family style serving. However, in modern times, due to the rapid development of the medical and the hygienic conditions, the seemingly perfect family style serving has developed a fatal bottleneck. Everyone's similar is pulled together in one dish leading to the spread of bacteria colonies and the possible spread of infectious disease. It is not easy to improve the family style serving. It requires the active participation of the whole society. For the relevant departments, it is important to take an active role in promoting a change in the dining table culture. In a way, the dining style is a good policy as a major landmark. I recommend that the relevant department adopt the legislation to force the catering industry to implement a serving chopstick rule, and at the same time, reinforce guidance, supervision, and enforcement efforts to spend three to five years to systematically cultivate the habit of placing and using serving chopstick in public criterion establishment. For criterion companies, they should become the main force to in leading a new lifestyle. Today, I find that almost all restaurants in the mid range and above are equipped with serving chopsticks and spoons. All restaurants, including small restaurants, have been equipped with a sterilizer. It's not only a service upgrade, but also a concept upgrade. Representing a healthier lifestyle, I recommend that catering companies install visible signage in their restaurant and on table, and encourage customers to actively use serving chopsticks through coupon rebates, lottery points, and lotteries. For individuals, it's even more important to develop healthy habits, reduce illness from the mouth, and develop more civilized and healthy dining etiquette. With so many people living with H. pylori and hepatitis B in China, the importance of using serving chopsticks is a responsibility both to yourself and to others. That is all for today. If you have something to say, please leave a comment in the comment section. And please click the subscribe button. And don't forget the little bell. Thank you very much.